So you can't stay productive. Fear not. I'm here to help you with this no bullshit productivity course, which is going to make you the Regina freaking George of productivity. To find out the world's fetch productivity techniques, I spent the last 46 days poring over interviews, reading thousands of articles, reading six bestsellers, and experimenting with the productivity routines of the most renowned people in the field. 73 pages of notes later, I made this productivity course that actually works under six minutes. Minimize. All right, before you set up your desk, ready to work ruthlessly on your six different side hustles alongside university or that good old nine to five, take a moment to reflect on the goals you want to achieve. I know. I know, I know. Writing about your goals can sometimes feel like productive, right? But trust me on this. It's worth every second, even if it means taking a breather for a couple of days to jot them all down. Because you can try all the productivity hacks under the sun, but without clear goals, you might find yourself going nowhere fast. All right, so you've got your list, yeah? Goals for this year, maybe even the next five. Now, check this out. We're bringing in the big guns, Warren Buffett, the man himself. Heard of him? Billionaire extraordinaire. Buffett hits his pilot, Mike Flint, with this productivity gem. He's got Flint listing off his top 25 career goals. Then Buffett's like, hey buddy, circle your top five and toss the rest. Yeah, you heard that right. Chuck him in the avoid at all cost pile. See what we're doing here? We're cutting through the noise, focusing on what truly matters. So take a passage from Buffett's playbook and streamline these goals. Trust me, it's gonna save you a truckload of time and energy in the long run. Make a schedule. All right, so we've trimmed the fat, right? Top five goals locked in, rest tossed aside. Now, Let's dive a little deeper into the game plan. Break down those big goals into bite-sized pieces. Think of specific weekly and daily tasks you need to do to make those dreams a reality. Break it down like you're prepping for a game day. So, once you've got those tasks lined up, it's time to slot them into your daily schedule. Think of time blocks. Keep it real. Your schedule should be flexible, but with at least one or two non-negotiables. For me, it's simple. Morning keyboard sessions for a couple of hours, and you'll catch me squeezing in some exercises around 6 p.m. Plan your day. William James, the famous psychologist, is noted for saying that habits and schedules are important because they free our minds to advance to really interesting fields of action. Boy, oh boy, as humans, we have a limited amount of energy per day, and we can't afford to waste it deciding what to do. You need to plan your day the night before to reduce stress. Most of the time, we waste time because we're unsure of what needs to be done. Humans fear the unknown. Planning your day the night before is the single most effective productivity hack that works every time. The Jerry Seinfeld Technique so, the next day rolls around. You wake up, go through your morning routine, and plop down at your desk. But, uh-oh, you're feeling uninspired and dreading the work ahead. Now you've got two options staring you in the face. You could grab your phone and start mindlessly scrolling, or you could do something a bit different. Just stare. Yep, stare at a blank wall or your workspace for a good 5 to 10 minutes, doing absolutely nothing. I've found that when I'm stuck in a creative rut or struggling to get started, this simple act of blank screen staring makes me get started. It's called the Jerry Seinfeld technique. It works every time, as long as you don't get distracted by that pesky phone of yours. Deep work. You don't need to work 8 to 9 hours to get things done. Forget that mindset. What you need is deep work. It's all about maximizing your focus and productivity by working in uninterrupted, concentrated blocks of time, typically around 90 minutes each. You can get way more done in less time if you work like that. This is a concept taken from Carl Newport's book, Deep Work. So, in order to hit the flow state, first off, ditch that phone. Seriously, leave it in another room. Those notifications can wait. Next up, Find yourself a comfortable distraction-free zone to work in. I prefer to go to the cafe down the street where I get most work done. Read books. Reading books isn't just for schnobs. It's a legit productivity hack. Research from experts like Daniel Goleman and Howard Gardner back this up. When you dive into a book, you're giving your brain a serious workout, boosting focus, critical thinking, and problem-solving skills. Don't you ever, ever think that journaling, meditating, and reading books are just some fancy way to waste time? Nah, they're real deal when it comes to boosting productivity. Sure, some people might go a bit overboard with them, but trust me, when done right, they're absolute game changers. So yeah, by having minimalistic goals, scheduling your day, planning ahead, and practicing deep focus, you'll be the Harvey Specter of productivity in no time. So, yeah, that's it for today.